Hello guys, so welcome to KO Tutorials. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you can see over here, we have started with the modeling of this interior over here. So few things are left in the modeling part. So let's continue it. So very first of all, what I'll do over here is like I'll slightly just shuffle this walls a bit out over here so I leave some space over here I'll again go into this I'll convert to editable poly select the vertices slightly just push it over here so I'll take a bit of space from here I'll slightly just shuffle it out so now what I'll do over here is like I'll be modeling this cabinets over here. So what are the cabinets? The cabinets which are visible over here will be modeling that. So let's again take a box over here. So go to the top view over here. So just take the cabinets till here select this so increase its width a bit So let's increase the width slightly, convert to editable poly, I'll slightly just shuffle a bit further over here. Slightly just push it a bit inside go to the vertices and shift it up till here so whatever is visible will put it till here simultaneously I'll again go into this front view over here I'll take a line tool so take a line tool over here like this create something like this and again go into this if you want you can slightly push it a bit till here go into rendering enable in viewport and I'll make it as rectangular and you can shuffle its length till wherever you want so for now it is visible till here I'll keep it till here and convert to editable poly select the vertices slightly shift in here so now again go over here again select the vertices slightly shift this till here so let's take one swift loop over here so if you want we can create this so we'll model some handles over here so first very first of all I'll just select this and I'll slightly give a bit of 
bevel over here so I'll slightly assign a bevel after that so what kind of handles you can create over here very simple I'll go into this view over here I'll go into this view so let's just take a line tool go into this line tool and reduce its length a bit slightly reduce its width so we can just keep it over here in this way so convert to editable poly select this edges let's give some connect over here take a FFD box modifier so let's just take an FFD box modifier over here so select this press R and scale it we can give some details in this way if you want you can do it or we can just keep it straight like this not a problem so it is just barely visible save your file after that I think we can uh, shuffle this more out till here at least a bit more select this slightly just push this out So over here now again I can just select this select this polygons and extrude it till here although this is not going to be fully visible so how much area is going to be visible that can be seen over here again we can take a chamfer box over here so I can slightly just shuffle it till here If you know to take this pillows you can take it or we can definitely create it over here it's not a problem so let's create it so let's again take a chamfer box over here so let's again take a chamfer box and assign some segments over here and let's give a turbo smooth over here slightly just push it up so go into this animation mass effects cloth create M cloth select the floor animation mass effects rigid body set selected as static rigid body I don't want it to move over here so I'll go into this I'll keep the shape type as original over here select this 
animation, mass effects, simulation and play simulation. So let's go into this and we have one more property that's enable balloon behavior. I can take this, convert to editable poly. So once you're done, So I can just go over here into this free form then you have this pinch and spread option you can slightly just pinch and spread this go again to the top view you have a property that is known as shift over here we can slightly use this shift property as well if needed I'll just end isolate this I'll shuffle this over here onto the top so scale it again so definitely we need to set the camera accordingly and again just duplicate it rotate it slightly and push it on the top so save your file once again so now what I'll do over here is like I uh, will create the roof later on before that again I will create this hanging design so for that again I will take a line tool over here till here so I'll go into this and I'll make it as radial slightly reduce its thickness push it over here After that, if you want it should be more thicker, less thicker, you can do that. That is totally possible over here. I'll go over here. I'll convert to poly. I'll select this polygons I'll slightly extrude it till here select the polygons extrude it by local normal reduce it so Alright, so once you are done, after that let's again take a cylinder over here, so draw a cylinder and push it till here. So convert to editable poly, select this polygons, so let's just slightly insert it, give a bit of bevel, not much, a bit. Select the vertices. So go over here, select the edges 
and slightly give a bit of chamfer over here click ok so over here right from the top view again I will take one cylinder that you can place it over here so go into this reduce the height segments convert to editable poly select the polygons I'll slightly just push it up not much a bit so select this whole thing and again I will duplicate it and for this I can shuffle this till here and push this up so save your file over here alright so few things are left which will be just covering up in the coming tutorial so I'll just assign a specular over here looks good over here now so guys please like and subscribe my youtube channel so we'll continue the rest of the part in the coming tutorial so we'll be covering up few of the things which is just left out then we'll start up with the texturing part for this particular interior. So thanks for watching this tutorial.